Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a device called the MK802 Android Mini PC, or Android 4.0 Mini PC. But right now it's not running Android. I've actually got a micro SD card installed there that has Puppy Linux on it. And so you can see that we've got a full desktop style operating system here based on Puppy running instead. Uh, you can also run Ubuntu and other operating systems, but uh, Puppy is kind of a nice choice because it's meant for lightweight uh, operation. It's meant to be run off of a USB flash drive or an SD card like this and to run on older computers. So this is a version that's been compiled for devices with ARM-based processors and even though it's running from a pretty slow uh, SD card here, it's a, two, it's a class 2 4 gigabyte SD card, it runs really pretty quickly and that's uh, partly because it's just loaded into memory in order to run. So um, I'll uh, show you some of the things that you can do here. Not everything seems to be working perfectly, and I have a sort of funky monitor here which doesn't seem to let me disable overscan. So I'm using an HDMI connection, but you can see that some of the menus are sort of cut off at the edges here. Um, anyways, some of the things that it does do pretty well. You've got a file manager, so you can go ahead and uh, take a look through all your files. You've got... Um, disk usage analyzer. Let's do a text editor here. We've got a calculator. Graphics applications. Spreadsheet and so forth. Now one thing that I haven't been able to get it to do is to load the SeaMonkey web browser that comes pre-installed. Um, there is a package manager that lets you install third-party applications and I did get Firefox to work. Um, well, work is sort of a strong word for it. I did get Firefox to load, but it uh, doesn't seem to run perfectly here, so... Actually, that's the first time I've had it even get that far, so let's see if I can get a web page to run. There we go. So uh, it was a little hit or miss. Well, the first time I tried running Firefox, I wasn't really able to load any web pages. Uh, but it does appear to be loading a little computing now. You can see it's not the fastest thing in the world, and this is an older version of Firefox. This is um, Firefox 3.6, I believe. But, um, you know, it's, it's a full desktop-style web browser, and it's running on a little computer that costs just $74. There's a couple of games. We've got a Rubik's Cube game here, which ah, I see. I've never actually played before. <laughs> and there's a media player and some other applications. Uh, now again, not everything works absolutely perfectly here. Um, and some of the applications I tried to install didn't necessarily install perfectly either, but there is a package manager that lets you find other applications, download them, and install them. And overall, it's a, it's a pretty impressive array of possibilities. Again, it's a lightweight operating system called Puppy Linux. This is a version that's optimized for ARM-based uh, devices, and it's running off of an SD card. All you would need to do is load it onto the SD card, insert it into the MK802, plug in a power source and an HDMI display, and it should boot right into Linux. Pop out that SD card, unplug and replug the, um, the MK802, and it'll boot into Google Android. So, there's a first look at Puppy Linux running on the MK802. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and you can find more information about the MK802 at lilliputing.com, as well as information about all sorts of uh, other affordable, affordable and portable devices, including tablets, laptops, and mini desktop computers like the MK802.